Ryan Martin and Josh Taylor. The WBSS. Could this be a surprisingly shocker? An upset in the making? And right five, here on the WRT Boxing four, Show. We're going to break it down. Two, one. You can hate him for not making that fight happen. But this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on at Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT, Double RT, Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. The Tartan Tornado and the Blue Chip. We ain't talking a tortilla chip. We ain't talking a gambling chip. We talking that blue chip. Ryan Martin. Now, this is a definitely enigma in the World Boxing Super Series. I don't even think people in the States know (laughs) fucking Ryan Martin, let alone across the pond. No, ain't no one talking about Ryan Martin. Not even into this tournament. No one's even talking about Ryan Martin before this tournament. You know, I think I, I think the Devil RT Boxing Show may have covered him once because that's what we do. We try and cover everyone between the rank, rankings here, but this guy ain't getting much talked about in the States. The blue chip is 25 years old, 100 rounds of experience with a record of 22 and 12 KOs. 55% knockout ratio, you know, 22 wins, 12 KOs. It's 5'11 at the age of 25. Why? Wow, he's kind of his opponent, the Tartan Tornado, Josh Taylor, 59 rounds with an 85 knockout ratio. So if you're a numbers man, and that's where your dollar goes, you got 100 rounds with a 55 knockout, uh, 59 round with an 85 knockout. And Josh Taylor is. 13 and 0 with 11 KOs. So 22 and 0 with 12 KOs. 13 and 0 with 11 KOs. So both these guys are technically some blue chippers, you know. But one calls himself a blue chip, and one is just a tartan tornado. Get you all fucked up. 5 11 and the 69 and a half reach. So these some these are gonna be some nice tall people, you know, not the six footers tall, but a nice tall super lightweights. You know, usually um, Josh Taylor is the the tall guy in the ring. You gotta excuse me. I am addicted to sparkling water, sparkling mineral water at that. You know, I love this. And it, it, it's it's just hot and smuggy in California, even at this time of night. Or I should say, this time of morning. You know, the Double RT Boxing Show is always some crazy ass morning shows. Now, now, as we said, breaking into the intro, is this a upset in the making? You know, Josh Taylor, shown in the post off fight, he could be taken to. You know, and, and that's what Martin has. Martin has fast hand speed and an overall solid game. His weakness is his legs. He can throw combinations. He works the body real well. He works up and down real well. He's hit a strong jab, a nice left hook. The only thing Martin has as a weakness to me is uh, he can't fight backwards. And his his, uh, his leg overall movement He's a he's a he's a come forward fighter. He hasn't really fought anyone who had to press him back. So we're gonna see if Taylor can bring out that adjustment in him. Now, as far as Taylor, Taylor is to me a pretty damn solid fighter. You know, to me he's like the um, the he's the Scottish version of um. Mikey Garcia, the UK version of Mikey Garcia, man. Like they just do everything pretty soundly fundamental. They don't work the ring too fancy, but they know how to take proper steps. They know how to set each punch up. 
they work behind a nice jab, they throw well placed time body shots, they could fight if they have to with a jab going backwards, they ain't the greatest back foot fighters but they could escape if needed to. So that being said, this breakdown, like I said, the leg movement I give to Taylor, I think he he, he, he set himself up on angles to set himself up for the uppercuts. You know, he uh, sets himself up for the next placement when he does throw combination. I think when he throws combinations, all his punches have equal power because of his feet placement. I think uh, Martin kind of his combinations don't have as much zip on them and it's not often that fighters do have the zip on all three or four punches but I think his feet selection kind of takes away his power so I'm gonna go with uh, just for movement and angle set and in and out of from offense to defense I like I like Taylor for the feet and like I said for defense Martin's got uh, as a come forward fighter with a high guard and he just keeps the gap. You know, his to me, his best defense is his jab. You know, he's, he's going to be a high guard, keep the gap, and just jab for a defense. But Taylor's by basically the same thing. Taylor ain't the greatest. He's, he's a sound fight guy. He ain't he ain't going to be slipping all these punches. You know, he he's good at catch and shoot, and I give him that. He can catch and shoot punches. So defensively. I want to say, I don't like to say they're even. I like to choose people. So I'm going to go Taylor on this one. And offensively, hand speed, I'm going with Martin. Um, combination selections, variations. I'll probably go with Martin on that one as well. But power, Taylor, I think, he, like I said, it's not only because his linkiness, he, he delivers a whole punch with it. I think it's more of his feet selection, his feet placement, I should say. It, it helps him deliver the power. Now, how can Martin, I'm going with offensive uh, Taylor. How can Martin pull this upset off? I'm pretty sure he's not the favorite in this fight. Martin is going to have to have to double jab, triple jab himself in and press Taylor against the ropes. And then from there, work the body. He's going to have to work the body. He cannot allow Taylor to sidestep him and take it to the center of the ring. Taylor can outbox him in the center of the ring. He's going to have to, like I said, work behind a hard like shotgun jab. Not, not a fill-in jab. A shotgun, triple, double-up jab. Get him to the ropes. Work the body. And then just be a dog. And be a dog. Don't, don't. Don't let Taylor, don't don't make this a mid-range fight, mid-range inside for um, Martin. For as Taylor, Taylor is gonna have to constantly turn Martin and keep this in the center of the ring. Constantly turn him, keep it in the center of the ring, and uh, don't back straight up. Back straight up will work until uh, Martin is double jabbing and just jabbing. So just keep it in the center of the ring, turn him. And work an uppercut because Martin will. Martin likes to walk in and just he likes to lean in for a punch, a jab, jab, and he likes to lean in for his hooks. So saying that, I'm gonna go with Taylor. I think Taylor is gonna. I, I was gonna say a knockout because Martin he fought lesser competition. He's been the whole distance, you know. He he hasn't fought stellar stellar competition, you know, in his last fights. You got Taylor fighting Postal, Campos, Vasquez, and Davis. Knocked them all out and took Postal with a unanimous decision. Whereas you got Ryan Martin. He went all eight rounds with Prescott. Luis Eduardo Flores. He knocked out four, but who the hell is that? Francisco Roja uh, took him to 10. Marcos Jimenez took him to 10. Brian Cruz took him and knocked him out in the eighth out of 10. So it's like he didn't he didn't knock out y Yarly or Monte Cruz, but so does everyone else. So I'm just saying he's he's hasn't fought as competition as good as Taylor, and I think it's gonna be a nice learning experience for Martin. He's gonna have some decent showings, but I think 
Taylor should get this one large. I don't think he's going to knock him out, but he should win this one by a big unanimous decision. I'm going with Josh Taylor, unanimous decision. And moving on to the semifinals. This is the Double RT Boxing Show. Double RT Boxing Show. What does it stand for, folks? Ready, ready, talk boxing. You know where I got that from? Why? If you guys want to know why the show is called Ready, Ready, Talk Boxing, it's a play on words when, like, for the fighters, are you ready? Are you ready? Box. You know, it's ready, ready, it's talk boxing. You know, a little insight why the name, why the show name is Ready, Ready, Talk Boxing. It's ready. Fighter, fighter in the blue corner, are you ready? Fighter in the red corner, are you ready? Now it's, Mr. Jay, are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Ready, ready, talk boxing. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. If you have not, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Follow me on Twitter at RRTB Show. RRTB Show. And don't forget that thumbs up and the subscribe button. Thank you. See you on the next one.